John Hellywell's first album with Supertramp was their third, Crime of the Century, 1974. The band had a lot of high points, toured all over the world, created Crime of the Century, Crisis What Crisis, even in the quietest moments, Breakfast in America, Famous Last Words, Brother Where You're Bound, Free as a Bird, Some Things Never Change, and Slow Motion. I asked John Hellywell what was his high point in the band. What was a high point for you? I mean, right now, it seems like you're in your element and you're being able to press the buttons when you want to and do what you want and plan. And there's, I, I kind of, there's, there's a bit of me looking at you of going, oh, well, he's, he's in tune with his inner child, which is what keeps you living and living. And, but yeah, well, I mean, I'm enjoying playing. And I don't think that my, uh, my playing has, has reached the apex yet. I think maybe at some stage it may. And this can be mental or physical with playing an instrument. You know, I might kind of lose the muscles or something for playing. And I hope that I shall have the uh, uh, wherewithal, the mental strength to say to myself, right, you're going downhill now, stop, you know. But I still think that I'm going up. I still it's a good place. It's a good, it's, a good, it's a good place to be. It's a great yeah, place to be. My playing is getting better, so I'm enjoying playing. I could do with playing a bit more re recently, but it, I'm in a good a good space. But I've always enjoyed just playing and improvising with people. Um, uh, uh, so I don't know about a big a high point. I mean, we play to big crowds, but it's quite nice playing to smaller crowds, you know. Um, what about Super Trip? What were the high? What was that? Is there a, a moment where maybe you were on stage and you went? Because some artists say, "Well, no, I was too busy doing it. I didn't know at the time." I, you know, where I say, "Well, you were on the Ed Sullivan show. Did did you like Car Carmine a piece?" I'm talking to him and say, "You're in the Ed Sullivan show, Vanilla Fudge. Did did you really feel?" He's, "Oh God, I knew this was a moment. If we never did anything again, I knew this." Were there moments, defining moments like that for you? I think it's nice. Yeah, well, gigs. Gigs are the, the main thing. I really enjoy playing live. And just what springs to mind is um, well, I've just been talking about meeting Prince Charles and Princess Diana, but that was at the Royal Albert Hall, and that's a that's a really nice place to be able to go out and do a concert in because it from the stage it it looks so nice with all the boxes and, and everything. And it, so it's a really good gig to be able to do. It's not it's not too big that you can't. You can't see the people at the back, you know, but it's it's big enough to have a good audience. Uh, and obviously, if they're enthusiastic. So I would think that playing at the Albert Hall is one of the, we did it several times, the highlight, they've become the highlights of, 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 of our career from the 70s, 80s. Um if Supertramp, this is from Gary Stuckey, I think his name, so he says, if Supertramp started today, would it... Uh... Would it be successful? I know that's that's yeah. hard. Well, I think if if we were if we were all five of us young again today, then I'm sure it would would there'd be that that chemistry would work between us. I'm sure. Yeah, it, it's yeah. rare. It's rare to have uh, you know I, I, as you can imagine. I talk to a lot of people. I'm sure you do, but it's rare for me to to. Uh, I mean, the body of work and what you were involved with. I mean, do you ever stop? Um, it, it's it's it could be that oh, it's just little old me thing. Some people go, well, it's just me, but that that was an amazing contrib contribution to rock and roll. I mean, that what well, you guys created together as a five man unit. I mean, do you, do you ever shake your head and go, wow? Yeah, I think I, I look back and and um, my main thing is feeling very proud of what of what we've done, and it just but it. The whole thing just kind of happened naturally. Yeah. It was just because of the five different people. <clears throat> Everybody had their, their contribution to it in, in, dif in different ways. And it, everything just gelled and became greater than just five people. It became, became more than that. Yeah. Greater than the sum of its parts. Right. Don't Ever Leave Me is the brand new album from John Halliwell, formerly of Supertramp. I still don't say formally because I can't accept the fact that the band broke up in 2015. But you just, just never know. I'm always holding on to hope. A one-off show? 
More from John Halliwell in the next two, three days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself. Thank you.